This video will give a quick demonstration of uh, Celsius, which is integrated 3D thermal program using a simple model. Uh, here we show the solved model. It consists of two concentric spheres. The region between the outer spheres, and the inner and the outer sphere, is filled with glass, and the inner sphere is filled with glycerin and has a volume heat source. Now, what this represents is shown in this picture in a cutaway view. You can see you have a, a glass shell, a hollow spherical shell of glass. Inside that glass is, vol is filled with glycerin, plus there's a volume heat source. So we're going to do, uh, use this as an illustration of how to construct and solve a model in Celsius. So we'll begin by starting a new model. And our length units will be centimeters. the two spheres, the inner sphere has a radius of 8 centimeters and the outer sphere has a radius of 10. Now we'll assign some physical properties. We'll assign glass to the shell. Now, in order to assign glycerin to the inner volume, one way of doing that is to first hide the outer surface using the visibility commands. And now we can assign glycerin to the outer surface. And if we now make everything visible again, you can see that the outer sphere is glass and the inner sphere is glycerin. So next we'll assign a convection boundary condition to the outer spherical surface and the ambient temperature will be 30 degrees and the local heat transfer coefficient will be 20. Now we're going to assign a volume heat of 100 watts to the inner sphere And normally if I just clicked on the uh, sphere, it would select the outer sphere. You can see that the cursor has two volume symbols, okay, because when I'm right over it, I'm able, it shows that there's a possibility for two selections. If I move to the outer edge, you'll notice there's only one volume symbol shown, because that would only select the outer one. Now to select the inner one, I hold down the control key on my keyboard, and then I click the left mouse button. Now you notice that the wireframe view of the inner sphere is green and the outer sphere is red. That means that if I release the control key and then click the left mouse button again, the inner sphere will be selected. I move my mouse to a blank region of the screen. You can see that it's green. Okay. Now I right click to end the selection process and I enter a total heat of 100.